Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the OpenCV library with your Raspberry Pi. And uh, if you haven't installed this uh, library, uh, you can check my previous videos. The link is the description of this video. So what we will do in uh, this video, uh, we will first open a picture, then we will resize it and save it in my desktop. And finally, we will open the real camera with the flat ribbon connected to my Raspberry Pi. Okay, and now first we have to enable the camera. So we can write sudo raspi config. And if you go to interface options, legacy camera, you activate it. Okay, so you say yes. Okay, you finish. And maybe you will have to restart your Pi. So now we will go to the to the file. So nano start with opencv.py. And first we need to import the libraries. So we can write import cv2 and we can print the version. So print uh, cv2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. And like this, we will see the version of cv2 and then we will open this picture so you can see my picture with this size so we can write here image which is equal to cv2.imread and uh, you have to write the name of the picture so picture.jpg okay and we will print the dimensions so we can write print dimensions are and you can write image.shape, so you will have the shape of the picture. Now we will uh, open the picture, so we can write cv2.imshow. Uh, in parentheses, we have the name, so we can write preview, this is the name of the window, and the image. But if we leave it like this, Python will open and directly close the, uh, the window, so we have to add cv2 dot wait key with a zero in the parentheses so this is the delay but uh, zero means the function waits infinitely for a key event so you have to press a key on your keyboard to uh, to go further and then after that we can uh, destroy all windows so we can write cv2 dot destroy all windows like this when we press a key it will destroy all the windows. Okay, so I can save it, yes, and run this uh, code. So Python start with opencv.py and we will see if uh, the script works well. So we can see, okay, here the version of opencv, the dimensions of the picture. The three is for RGB, so we have three colors. And here you can see the picture. Okay, so I pressed here on my keyboard and it closed the window. Okay, so now let's go back to the script. And what we will do now is to resize the picture and then we will save it on my desktop. So we can write, so we will uh, write image equal to cv2 dot resize. And we will resize what? The image. And then we have to write the dimensions. So 400 for the width and 300 for the height. Okay. So we can print the new dimensions. So new dimensions are uh, image dot shape. And uh, if I save it and so yes. And if we run the script, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, as you, we have here the new dimensions. So let's go back to the script and now save this picture on my desktop. So we can write cv2 dot imwrite. We have to write the name of the picture. So new picture dot jpg, for instance. And we will uh, save the image. And if we save it and run the script, we will see on my desktop. As a new picture so yes you can see here we can open it and you have here the picture with the new dimensions 
Okay, the last thing I would like to show you is how to use the camera with the flat ribbon connected to your Raspberry Pi. So, uh, we can write here cam equal to cv2.video capture and the number of the port. So, for me, it's zero. Maybe for you, it's one. Maybe you can change. Then, while true, so while uh, it's true, we can use a return uh, value, so we can write root, and it's just a boolean variable to say if the camera recorded something or not. Frame, and we have cam dot read, which means we will read the camera, and we have a return value and the frame. Then we have cv two dot show. We have the preview for the name of the window and the frame so we will display the frame and then we have to say okay uh, when we press the letter q we will close the window so what we can write we can write if uh, cv2 dot wait key of one so we wait one milliseconds uh, and we press q so we can write zero x f f in capital letters equals to ORT of Q. So when we press Q, we break the loop. So we can uh, save it. Okay. And if we run the script, you will normally see the camera with me. Okay. So, uh, yep, this is me. And if I press Q, it, it uh, close the uh, window. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will see the face detection.